Hey everyone and welcome to Cooking Companion TV. I'm Jenna Edwards and this is a recipe demo of garlic trout pasta. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. We start by confiting garlic in olive oil. This is 30 cloves of garlic for a double recipe of the garlic, so I have extra. But you could use 15 to 20 cloves for one serving. To peel that many cloves, sandwich together two bowls and shake vigorously for about a minute. This should shake the skins off the cloves or at least loosen them to expedite the peeling process. For this many cloves, I'll heat two thirds of a cup of olive oil over low medium heat and gently simmer the cloves for 20 minutes. We're looking for active bubbles around the edges of the cloves. I wouldn't go for more active than what you see here because you can easily fry the cloves and that's not what we're doing here. Every five minutes or so, I'd flip one over to check on how it's going and we have a nice light browning happening. This is after about 10 minutes. After a few more minutes, we should have a beautiful golden brown skin forming and the cloves should be softening considerably. We'll take a fork and smash half of the cloves and let them continue simmering until you reach 20 minutes. In full disclosure, it could take up to 40 minutes to reach a mushable softness, um, depending on uh, how you've managed your heat and oil and how thick the cloves are and also just how soft you really want your garlic to be. Once they're mashed, I'll let them go a few more minutes so I can just get more garlic in the oil and also while I pat dry the fish. I'm using farm-raised steelhead trout, which looks like salmon and has a milder taste than salmon, but that's the basic gist of the flavor. Drain the garlic and most of the oil from the pan and add your fish to the pan for some flavor enhancing searing, starting with the skin side down. The heat is on a solid medium, maybe a medium high. And when you place the fish in the pan, you want a satisfying like hiss, like, you know, not an angry hiss with popping oil. And if it makes no sound, pull it out immediately and heat the pan up some more. So sear it for literally two minutes and flip it. The skin should be crispy, but it doesn't matter because we won't use it in the recipe. It was really just to get flavor into the fish. And you'll sear the other side for two minutes. Now, if you like your fish cooked well done, then fully cook it in the pan. If you like it super tender or poached, just sear it and we'll cook it through in the sauce. By the way, this is half a pound or eight ounces of trout. It's a lot. I've poured in half of my olive oil and garlic for this recipe portion, which is about 15 cloves and one third of a cup of olive oil and pour in one 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes. I'm draining the water out so it doesn't react to the hot oil, but it turns out that wasn't necessary. The oil wasn't that hot. We'll cook the tomatoes and garlic and oil together and season with a quarter teaspoon each of oregano and thyme, and then with pepper and salt. You can use whatever seasonings you like. If you don't like chunks of tomato, you can use a can of whole peel tomatoes and puree them in a food processor or crush them with your hands. This allows for a lighter tomato carrier without the chunky tomato texture. And it has more body than buying a canned crushed tomato. So while that cooks together, mince up your fish. If you have a meat grinder, you can run the raw fish through that and then sear it in the pan like we did the whole filet. You can really zhush this up and make it super fussy. I'm demoing a more direct method that creates a super flavorful dish, even if it isn't as polished. And whenever the fish is ready, add it to the sauce and cook the fish through. I let this go for about 10 minutes to make sure the fish cooked evenly. If I had had a wider pan, it probably wouldn't have taken as long. So this is a lot of fish and sauce. It's four generous servings, depending on the type of pasta you use. I've rem removed about half of the sauce so I can toss cooked pasta with the sauce and let that pasta soak up some of the oil and the flavor. And that's another thing about this recipe with the garlic oil and then the oily fish, there's a lot of oil. The pasta does a really good job of soaking it up though. With my extra garlic comfy, I can use it in a dressing or freeze it or keep it in the back of a fridge for about a month or so for another serving of this sauce. I just need another can of tomatoes for that. 
serve with your favorite pasta and top it with a lot of pecorino or parmigiano reggiano cheese for a nice salty edge. That's it for this recipe demo of garlic trout pasta. Get the ingredient list below or at cookingcompaniontv.com slash garlic trout pasta. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to this channel for more demos just like this. I'm Jenna Edwards and thanks for watching.